How's he going to get out of that Willow Creek area? Why don't you tell me? We had the whole area sealed off tight as a drum five minutes after we got the call. He couldn't get through those roadblocks. Well, there's another possibility. What's that? Shut up, you don't want to end up in a hearse. Now get in that station. Let go of me! Get in! Quiet. Go! Oh! Ah! I want you to get one thing about the straight lady. There'd be two dead bodies in the station. I wouldn't throw the bullets if you consider yourself lucky. Simpson. Did you check out the roadblocks? All negative. What about that report from 3220? Uh, he picked up a stolen car, but Nolan Wilbur was not one of the occupants. Well, keep after him. Pull in a few more units and establish secondary blocks in case he tries to get around that main block on foot. Right. I don't have to tie it so tight. Just want to make sure you don't go taking any walks. Fifteen thirty-six. Proceed twenty miles south of Willow Creek. Rendezvous with sixteen twelve. To form secondary roadblock. realized that in spite of the new clothes, he was inside a tightening net. He knew the road ahead was blocked. The road behind would lead to capture. His only hope was the hills, which might give safety, but which would certainly present new problems of survival. Highway Patrol. Highway Patrol, Simpson. Uh, hold on just a minute. Mr. Matthews, you better take this. Possible victim of Nolan Wilbur. Thanks. It's Matthews. There's a man here. I think he's dead. All right, all right. Take it easy, lady. Let's start from the top. Where are you and what happened? All right, ma'am, now don't you worry. We'll have an officer out there right away. Yeah, thank you. Get your gear. Fifteen minutes ago, Wilbur left the service station on 104. That's just south of a roadblock. He was driving a blue convertible. Nora Paul Abel, 308. It's around the whole area. We're going to the service station. 